How many linear feet of baseboard are required for a room 14 feet by 18 feet with two doors, allowing for three feet per door? Also, if the baseboard comes in 12 foot sections, how many 12 foot sections do you need? Baseboard is wood that's laid between the base of the wall and the floor, so to find the number of linear feet needed, we'll first find the perimeter of the room, which would be the distance around the outside, highlighted here in orange, but this would be too many linear feet because we don't need baseboard in the openings of the door, which we're told are three feet wide. So we'll find the perimeter and then subtract out three for this door and subtract out three for this door. So the number of linear feet needed, which we'll call L, would be equal to first the perimeter, so we have two lengths of 14 feet, so two times 14 plus two lengths at 18 feet, so two times 18, Again, this would be the perimeter of the entire room. But now we need to subtract out the two widths of the doors, so we'd have minus two times three. So two times 14 is 28. Two times 18 is 36. Two times three is six, we have minus six. So this would be 58, which means you need 58 linear feet of baseboard. So here's the first part to our question. And now for the second part, if the baseboard only comes in 12 foot sections, we want to know how many 12 foot sections you need. So if you need 58 linear feet and they're only sold in 12 foot sections, we want to know how many 12 foot sections there are in 58 feet, which is a division problem. We'll take 58 feet and divide by 12 feet. Well, four times 12 is 48 and five times 12 is 60, which is too much. So let's start with four. Again, four times 12 is 48, and we subtract, a remainder is 10. This remainder of 10 means we need four 12-foot sections and then 10 more feet. But we can't just buy 10 feet, we have to buy another section, so we actually need five 12-foot sections. I hope you found this helpful.